So many Haitians lost their churches, their Bibles, but they did not lose their faith. In a country overwhelmingly Catholic, more than half of the people here also practice voodoo, and they believe there must be a death ritual to release a loved one's spirit to God. Max Beauvoir is Haiti's chief voodoo priest. The Haitian people are wounded. They are not really wounded in their body alone. They are wounded in their spirit. Those who practice voodoo bury the dead quickly, marked by celebratory memorials and in many cases, elaborate tombs, a proper way to send the spirit off. We are told of a woman who is a Konzo who helps in these rituals, rituals that since the earthquake have been skipped. With anguish on her face, she tells us she fears so many spirits are trapped. The spirits are not in peace, yeah. and that is painful. She is aware of the mass graves in the countryside, but even in the middle of the capital, there are the nameless. At this small street-side market, a horrible view. They point to the small cemetery across the street that has become a dumping ground. Every day they bring more. This man motions to us how they do it. Why don't they at least have name tags, wristbands, he asked us, anything to identify themselves. The people tell me that the pickup trucks come here all day long carrying bodies, victims of the earthquake, and they're brought to the cemetery. You can see some of the very old tombs here have been reopened for the new victims. But in the back corner of the cemetery, we notice a lone man and the cemetery keeper kneeling beside him, a father who is determined his son will not be among the nameless. He points to his son's school that collapsed up the street. Up here? Uh -huh. And when we ask to see a photo, he instead pulls out the last hospital record of his son. It says his heart gave up on him. With the cement still wet, he borrows a pen and etches his son's name, Jean Merlin, and the date of the earthquake. As perfect strangers, first drawn by the sight of television cameras, instead find themselves gathered for an impromptu service. The father says, God take you, and one day we will meet. A rare and special tribute in a country that needs one. But there is still great promise here, seen through the eyes of the children who did survive. The ones who waved to us. The ones arm in arm. The ones still singing and dancing. And there are the children who greet us at the end of our journey west of the capital. Did you all feel the earthquake? They have just one simple wish that they go back to school. You want to go back to school? Oui. 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 With the building still unsafe, they don't know when. So right now you just play? Oui. Oui. Football. We teach them an American high five. High five. Good luck. I hope you go back to school soon. But they teach us there is still hope in Haiti. He's giving him a little oxygen.